I'm going for an 80s vibe kind of thing right now. I found some coloured eyeshadow. It seemed like fun. We had a play. And this is what we're going for. Welcome to Sarah from the 80s. So, as it is Valentine's Day, lovely, amazing day, I thought we'd have a fabulous game of Mr. and Mrs. Are you excited? No. It's going to be Mr. and Mrs. with a twist because we are going to do a pandemic version of it where we are going to ask each other basically how well we remember one another after so long and <laughs> some questions about what we've been up to since we last saw each other and see how well the other person pays attention on the phone. Mm, that's going to reflect badly on me, I think. What was the name of the bar we went to when we first met in the UK, in London? The Grind. Where? The Grind, which is in, it's South Bank, because it's, you've got London Bridge. No. Nope. You have, because you've got London Bridge, and then it's the, it's the, not Portobello Market, it's the, what's the market? Borough. Bar <laughs> the Borough Market side of, it's the Borough Market side of the, of London Bridge, called The Grind. Yeah, but it's called, it's called London Bridge Grind. <laughs> I said London, oh, so South Bank. How many places do I have books stored in? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah, that's correct, so I get a point. No. You got the bookcase behind you, which is, I mean, I can see the books. Mm -hmm. uh, above the, like, shelf bit above the stairs, as you go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. And then I think there's one other box of books. Is that all you're going for? You've got the bookcase. These are the ones, I mean, I've got the other ones over your shoulder. No, we didn't mention those, I was going to say. Four sounds too reasonable. I'm going to guess there's a fifth, poss possibly a sixth. I'll give you that. <laughs> what is the sound I hate the most? Is it food related? Vaguely. Kissing. How is that food related? <laughs> because I thought about like the swallowing noise of you eating and then I was like, it's kind of like kissing because it's throaty. <laughs> no. Do you give up yet? Yeah. <laughs> it's the sound of things being moved around in a freezer. Like the ice oh, scraping yeah, sound. you have said that. Oh, do you know, I was going to say freezer. Oh, we know each other surprisingly well. I thought we'd both fail miserably at this and just like have to jump. Well, you've only asked me recent things so far. Well, it's supposed to be since I last saw you, but okay. Uh, I mean, half of my questions are not. <laughs> okay, that's fine then. Just ignore the brief. Okay, if you are going to do an old uh, one, I'm going to test your memory a little bit. What okay, good. What did I wear to your best friend's wedding. <laughs> oh my god, I thought that would be so easy. I was like, oh, I'll pick a different occasion, but I was like, no, I'll get Oh, it. I'm gonna look awful. Um... Oh no. Is it purple? No. <laughs> your mum wore purple. <laughs> Damn it! I knew someone did. <laughs> I didn't know I had to study for this test. Oh, it, okay, it had cream weird. dots on it, if that helps. <clears throat> cream dots, yeah, but that... Oh my gosh. It's pink or blue. Are they your final answers? Pink or blue? <laughs> it's one of those. Okay, it was brown. I mean, I'm not... I'm not, oh, excellent, good. <laughs> it was brown. You've got too many bright coloured dresses. I just assume it's brown. Bright colour. <laughs> brown, it wasn't bright. Yeah, it was I know. Brown. What did the first ever Valentine's Day card that you gave to me have on it? You can't prove that what I say is wrong. No, I know what was on it though. I know it because it was a reason that you sent it. 
My first, our first Valentine's Day, we've been together like two months, less than a month and a half or something. And you sent it to me saying, hey, Sarah, happy Valentine's from Reese. <laughs> I, I was, I kept it brief. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, it brief <laughs> and unemotional is great. <laughs> was it a picture of us two on holiday? What, after a month and a half of dating? Yeah, from oh, yeah, we when met we actually holiday. met. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. No. Sorry, so who's this a memory test for again? <laughs> Pugs, because we went to the Pug Cafe when you first came to Nottingham. Oh, I should have known. Yeah, you should have known. It had dogs on it. Which of your celebrity crushes offended slash amused me the most? Um, Henry Cavill and The Witcher. No, because that one makes sense. This one was the one that really threw me. Tom Daly. <laughs> Again, no. Will Young. <laughs> I'm just getting you to list all your celebrity crushes. Yeah, you are just... <laughs> Um... <laughs> These go back a long way. John Bar- Yeah. This one this one goes back a long way. John Barrowman. Basically any no. other gay men. Boy George. No. You're getting there. He looked similar and Who it was a similar era. Yeah. You didn't say he was a celebrity crush. I said that he looked really You said he <laughs> was really good looking. No, I said yeah. Because if you see Ricky Gervais in the eighties or nineties or whatever it was, like it's just not what yeah. you expect. <laughs> it's just not what you expect. Hey, at least no one will have trouble getting anywhere booked this year for Valentine's, because they can't. So then that means they will have trouble. They're literally the epitome of trouble. They will not be able to get booked anyway. <laughs> True. Well, thank you for joining me. Have a nice night. You're welcome. <laughs> what, is that it? No. You only wanted me for a Valentine's video and that's it. There you go. That's done. Ah, uh, fair. Okay. I can't believe you didn't ask me to record. Oh, I thought you were recording. What with? <laughs>